Our next talk will be by Willem van Vandenberg, and he will be speaking about pardon? Vandenberg. <laughs> Um, he'll be speaking about, uh, we're asking a question, was it an illusion, a quantitative analysis of an instance of spoon bending? Can you hear me now? I, I don't seem very loud. Let's try it. Oh. <laughs> try that. Right. Okay. We seem to have started the video a little oh, prematurely. Sorry. <laughs> Let's get back to that. Okay. Um, well, I spent um, 30 years as a teacher of first and second year physics, and possibly as a consequence of that, uh, deep down, as a matter of faith, I don't believe that any of the so-called paranormal phenomena that people study uh, is possible. However, I'm still fascinated by phenomena like psychokinetic metal bending, and I was excited to find a way to test firsthand whether it is possible. Um, I've seen professional mentalist Alain New perform several times since first seeing him at the Ice Cream Social at the SSC conference last year. Um, and then on an occasion this past March, I gave him a marked stainless steel spoon uh, and recorded video of him bending and twisting it. And then at home, I performed some experiments on identical spoons, which showed that what he did could not have been accomplished by ordinary muscular effort. And I put all of that into a movie, which I'm now going to show you, uh, hopefully. Let's see, I guess, I don't even know which button. Is this the? Yes, OK, that's, that's equivalent to clicking. So on March 3rd, 2016, I handed mentalist Alain Nou a spoon like this that I had bought from a restaurant supply company. And you can see there I have marked, marked a letter uh, M or W, depending on how you hold it. And here he is. Here's the shot of me filming him. Now we should have audio. Oh, come on. All right, sorry. Um, Oh, it was on mute. Just rewind just a little bit. A little more. There. Um, ah. Um, and you're going to do your thing with it. You're too yeah. me Okay, again, we're going to create the most amount of energy with just a minimal amount of <laughs> stop getting on your knees. You're making me embarrassed. <laughs> again, the Chinese call it Qigong with something like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, don't, don't move it around too much. I can't follow you with the camera. Uh, uh, you are amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a lovely evening. You too. Thanks. I'll be, you know, I'll keep in contact with him on Facebook. Ninja, that's ninja. This ninja. Good. Can you, well, I don't want you to break it, but I don't, I don't whatever. Uh, it's a 13. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll, 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 I'll let me unbend it again. Three wise men came from the east. Try this. Okay. Right? They got the same Same people, yes. Yeah. 
By the way, it's 180 degrees. Oh, wait, what'd you say? These are the same line we had before. 360. 360. Sometimes I can get it to go 90, sometimes. Oh, it's it's doing it. It's doing it. I've seen him do it. Thank you. You're welcome. So there's... There are the two spoons. Uh, the actual spoon is the one I'm holding in my hand. That's the lower image. And the other one is, as, uh, serves as a before, but it's actually a different spoon. Now, it looked like he affected the 180-degree twist in the handle simply by mental intention. But could he possibly have surreptitiously used muscular force to do it? The next part of this movie analyzes how much torque would have, had to been, re would have been required and how much he could have exerted. What I have here is a couple of spoons that are identical. They were bought at the same time from the same source. Uh, identical to the spoon that I gave to Mr. New. Except that I've had some bolts, some hex head bolts, um, welded to the spoons so that I can attach them to a torque wrench, which I'm going to do. So there are the two spoons, or yeah, before and after. First, I'm going to take this spoon and brutally bend it in half, as Mr. New did, like that, and then straighten it out as he did, just in case this bending and re-straightening might weaken the structure so that it's easy to twist. Having done this, I'll uh, put it in the vise. And put the torque wrench on, like so. Let me make sure it's lined up properly. Can't quite see. There's a reflection here, but let's, let's try it like that. Oh, that's pretty good. So the first thing I want to do is see how much torque I can put on um, without deforming the metal. So let's try that. The spoon bends a bit, but it snaps back. To its original position, original confirmation, keeps snapping back. So I can put 25, looks like about 25 inch pounds, and it still doesn't deform. Go the other direction. tends to go right back to where it started from. So what I'm going to do now is see how much torque... Okay, 20, 20 inch pounds doesn't deform it permanently, at least not very much. So let me see what I can do in terms of completely twisting it 180 degrees. Start... I'll start here. permanently deformed the spoon. Here's a measurement of how much torque can be exerted on the spoon by my bare hands. So here's the torque wrench mounted in a vise. I'm going to grab this wrench just to show that I, what I'm going to do is make sense.
So I can exert quite a lot of torque by using this uh, adjustable wrench. But if I now attach the spoon to the torque wrench, exert much force at all. Much torque, rather. Lots of force. Minimal moment arm. I am using as much force as I can, but the torque is really pretty slight. At most, at most, maybe, maybe five inch pounds. Let's take a look at what happens when I try to use both hands to deform the spoon. This is the one I haven't deformed yet. And I won't be able to with both hands. It looks like I'm getting maybe maybe a couple of inch pounds, but I would need ten times as much to permanently deform the metal. So this is about it. Uh, the upper one is the spoon I twisted in the movie, and the lower picture is the actual spoon that Mr. New uh, twisted without using muscular force, and that concludes the video. And all I would say in summary is that um, it would have taken 25 inch pounds of torque to do this, but he had, it was not possible for a person with bare hands to do that, and yet Somehow, it turned 180 degrees. And I, I don't know, there are a few seconds for questions. Well, first, Alan is a good personal friend of mine. Oh, is he? It absolutely is a trick. I can show you how to write it back. Last year at Sunset Station, we, we had a, uh, he had a seminar uh, teaching people specifically how to do it. Uh -huh. I can tell you, any time you see this around the neck, you know, but your hands or any where it disappears, it's a trick. Now, we have seen, I know Jack Hawk, we used to teach macro PK where it's like this and there's no physical force on that. But Alan is using uh, physical force, and he does teach it under the right circumstances. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> As I said, I know it well. Even, He's been over. I, I, have, I, I gave walked, him the spoon. We the attended spoon the class smart. while he taught how to do it. Yeah. Well. Um, I have uh, one of the spoons from last year that I saw being bent. Uh -huh. and I, I, I think it may have been by the same guy. Um, yeah, yeah, and um, and and then I um, I found a spoon, you know, on one of the trays at, at the snack area that was the same kind, and I saved that one too. So not quite as controlled as what you did, um, but if anyone has ideas about how to do further analysis, well, let me know. <laughs> and you might uh, anyway. The, the only flaw that I see that was pointed out to me by Garrett Modell is that he he bent the spoon in half and then straightened it again uh, without. You know, it, and, and then did the the thing with the 180 degree tw twist. I'll, I'll be more specific. I mean, like, it might be interesting to look at, at uh, cross section with an electron microscope or something. Yeah. So I mean, I do believe it's possible. You know, like to bend spoon with your minds, but I do agree that this was probably a trick. There is a show in Discovery Channel where they do claim something similar happens to your mind. And I was discussing with Dean Radin. You can actually, you know, has long sleeves, 
is like a piece of metal that can come out, that can, in, you know, impl incredible torque. This to is the spoon kind of I things. gave him and the spoon he gave back to me while I was filming. Yeah, but you can, you can have a device that comes out of your sleeve and you can, in to, metal. To, to twist this like that. Well, I don't know the exact trick. With I don't know the hands. exact trick he was using. Unless he's Superman. I believe it's a trick. This specific one is a trick. Okay. One more question. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm here in Boulder, and I teach spin bending. About 10% of people can do it, uh -huh. including the spiral rotation. And so I just invite anyone uh, to meet up with me either you know during the conference or after, and uh, I'll teach you. You bring your own spoon. Okay. I have a spoon I can use. Thank you very much. <laughs>